Good evening, everyone. Uh, happy Monday and happy International Women's Day. We did see uh, a bit of a mixed picture here in the North American equity markets. The Dow hit new record highs once again, really driven by that rotation trade into the more value cyclical oriented areas of the market. That, of course, at the expense of technology, the Nasdaq down by 2.4%. Uh, the S&P 500 down slightly on the day by about a half a percentage point, and the TSX up mildly on the day. Uh, in terms of the drivers to the market, um, as I mentioned, there is this continued rotation uh, out of technology stocks, and really that's on the back of the continued concern about that U.S. 10-year yield rising, putting downward pressure on valuations of the higher growth and momentum stocks. That's been the theme for a number of weeks now, that U.S. 10-year yield breaking through that 1.6% level. Now, at the same time that that's occurring, there is still the optimism surrounding the fundamental backdrop, that, of course, being fiscal stimulus and also the vaccine rollouts, the uh, Senate passing that $1.9 trillion COVID relief package. So those are both clear positive drivers to the broader North American equity markets. Add to that, what really helped sentiment today was um, uh, famed hedge fund billionaire investor in the United States, David Tepper, saying that uh, uh, that he's getting bullish on the market and that it's difficult to be bearish just given those fundamental backdrops that we just mentioned. Also, with respect to that U.S. 10-year yield, he thinks that now we're probably kind of at that peak and that the BOJ, the Bank of Japan, could actually come in and start buying some of the U.S. Treasuries. That would, of course, keep that U.S. 10-year yield, or at least the yield curve, uh, from perhaps uh, steepening further. Uh, away from that, um, we did see some interesting stock moves today in the United States. GameStop, if you follow that at all, that Reddit-driven uh, stock, was up 30%, but really driven by perhaps positive news if, in fact, uh, the founder of Chewy, which is an online pet supply company, does join and lead GameStop's e-commerce business. So in other words, transferring GameStop from a bricks and mortar retailer to an e-commerce player. So that's what set that stock up. Also, Disney was up today. California is saying that the theme parks uh, in general can reopen on April the 1st with 15% capacity. So clearly a positive there. And also Goldman Sachs upgraded a Microsoft as well as Salesforce to their conviction buy list. So two stocks to watch there. Uh, as relates to the Canadian markets and what to watch out for today and, and this week, uh, we do have the Bank of Canada uh, with their announcement on Wednesday morning. So watch for that. Um, there is no real expectations that they're going to change their tone. But Goldman is out with an interesting call, not a call, but some notes saying that they expect Canada's GDP to be 6.5% growth in 2021, uh, really driven by strength in our energy market. Clearly, we're seeing a lot of that occur and also the housing market and uh, the flash GDP numbers that we most recently saw. So um, it'll be interesting to see how the Bank of Canada governor really um, discusses some of the strength that we're seeing in the Canadian market and also, of course, we will benefit on the back of a, a stronger U.S. economy. So how they manage the conversation and the tone with the potential for strengthening uh, the, the Canadian economy or seeing that strength and not being too hawkish and, and tapering back or rising or increasing the rate environment. Um, that's going to be an, an, a very important dance that they have to do um, to make sure that the interest rate environment in Canada doesn't get away from them as well. Uh, in terms of a couple of stocks to watch here in Canada, uh, the Mullen Group, which is a transportation and logistics company, made an acquisition today. Clearly, the market liked it, sent the stock up by 8%. That ticker there is MTL. And uh, the cannabis companies also performed quite well today, oil little, under a little bit of pressure, uh, a little bit of a pullback in some of the energy stocks, but of course they've been on a tear to the upside and precious metals also a little bit down on the day. So um, certainly a lot to watch. Uh, again, from a, a headline perspective, just globally, I would say that, uh, you know, of course we heard that there was an attack on a uh, Saudi Arabian oil terminal um, and that sent Brent up, uh, but uh, WTI essentially unchanged on the day. And then also, of course, we learned that the export market out of China for January, February surged. So um, getting glimpses of some global growth coming back into the picture here. That does it for me right now, uh, but certainly a lot to watch. And in keep around that U.S. 10-year yield, likely we will see uh, the mortgage rates here in Canada continue to creep higher. I'll leave it there. See you tomorrow.